I felt like Odysseus coming back to Ithaca after the, the wars. Hello! Welcome to Hurricane! Coming up the ramp, passing the stuff up, the next thing I was going to do is bend over and kiss the ground. <laughs> Just wonderful being back. Arnie is the executive director, and he and everybody out here has really recreated this island and created something new. So here we are to the, a new beginning. There was a community out here before and I could picture some old sea captain waiting offshore to get a load of granite. So thank you very much. Delighted that you're here. Have a great time. Thank you. It's, it was uh, a thrill to come ashore for the first time and imagine the possibilities. So I had a crazy idea. I said, I'm going to get an island, and I'm going to get these open boats. And I'm going to put them together, and I'm going to get a lot of whacked out people like all of us here. Because I know they'll live on an island and they'll do crazy stuff, right? Back in the 70s, we used to rock climb up here. At first, when you first started climbing out here, it was like, well, let's follow the cracks that were the seams left over from the quarrying. The best thing i ever done in my life, I think. Climbing on the face of the quarry has stayed with me my entire life. Do survival swimming in the quarry water, drown proofing. Walking around this island at night, how come no one ever got lost? And it's because in part these rocks almost illuminate at night. For me it's a real sacred, uh, precious place because of the sense of community. There are a lot of marriages and a lot of babies <laughs> that have come out of this place. This is where we all came of age together. Let's take a moment of silence and remember those that we want to be here but have passed on and are on a whole different phase of expedition. Jeff Cooler! Bob Rowe! Betty Willauer! Jimbo Conniff. Peter St. John. Jonathan Nolan. Richard Moser. Adrian Middleton. Jamie Scott. Richard Kellen. Oh, I look around, I see all the little kids here. It's, it's the next generation. I'm optimistic. These places always seem to recover, and this has done beautifully. And the old saying always comes back to mind, where the younger generation will be the ones who will save the environment. We really want this to be an interesting, vital, diverse community on its own. In the, um, in the sustainability objectives of this community, participate in that, and are celebrating this incredibly beautiful place. It's the center for science and leadership. So can we put people out here, off the grid, solar energy? I believe that uh, a combination of the uh, experience-based activities and the hands-on science will be a powerful combination. What I wish for, that communities of people continue to find this as a compelling place to do whatever they do. Just got to keep having these good people together, making decisions, and not knowing exactly, exactly how to do it until you do it, because you don't.